ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Brian Peters with you for the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, August the 16th. <laughs> My gosh. What are the tropics doing? They've gone absolutely nuts. But let's start off with a look at our SkyCam network. Here's the Decatur view and a beautiful image this morning as we look out over the Tennessee River. And another pretty image as we look out at the lights winking off in Tuscaloosa. Well, there's uh, the little culprit that's uh, developed overnight, a tropical depression in that cloud mass that was uh, off the southwest Florida coast. And uh, the presentation on the Tampa radar indicates that it is... Probably not a tropical storm just yet, but conditions are quite favorable with a limited amount of shear and uh, good warm water over the eastern Gulf, and that should form a tropical depression, a tropical storm, Claudette, later today. In the upper atmosphere, we're still looking at a, a relatively large ridge over the eastern half of the country with a pretty deep trough over the Rockies, and of course, all this activity in the tropics, so we'll get to all that in just a minute. Across uh, most of the country, it's fairly mild, but here in uh, central Alabama, we're generally in the lower 70s. Don't see any 60-degree readings this morning. All right, here's a look at radar and you can see for the regional radar uh, off Tampa, uh, quite an interesting development overnight as uh, we're actually getting some small banding in that large cluster. It looks like this is going to be a very small storm, so probably very little in the way of a spread or affecting a large area. It will affect a relatively minor area. And uh, because of the track of that, it looks like much of Alabama could get on the order of about an inch of rain, especially a, along the track of this storm. And then over South Florida, that uh, nearly six inches of rain is what's going to be coming because of Anna. All right, Storm Prediction Center outlooking a, an area for slight risk severe from a little east of Amarillo uh, across uh, northwestern Oklahoma, a large part of Kansas and Missouri, and southern Iowa stretching into a little bit of Illinois there. So they're, they're getting their severe weather season now. All right, let's get to the tropics. And this is where much of the activity is. And there's Tropical Depression 4 just off Tampa, soon to become Claudette, maybe by early this afternoon or late this morning. Uh, we've got Anna approaching the Leeward Islands, and we've got Bill way out behind Anna. But uh, certainly we'll take these one at a time. Here's TD4, what will become Claudette more than likely. Uh, lack of shear uh, and good warm water over the eastern Gulf should allow this to intensify probably into a mid-range tropical system, a tropical storm on the order of 45 to 50 knots. And there's the track. Going to be a fairly tight storm, so as a result... Uh, we expect uh, most of the activity to be right along the track, uh, and tropical storm warning already issued from the Alabama-Florida line all the way over to the Suwannee River. All right, now here's Anna approaching the Leeward Islands. You can just barely kind of see that on the eastern part of the, pardon me, the left side of the picture, and there's the track. Now this track has been adjusted and uh, just a little bit. It looks like over its life that uh, Anna's is going to have a lot of struggles. First of all, it's going to encounter the islands, and then when it gets to Puerto Rico and uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti, those big mountains are going to probably uh, cause it some grief. And uh, as a result, it's uh, expected to downgrade to a tropical depression. And then it'll probably become a storm again as it moves out into the Gulf. Uh, but it's uh, going to move around the periphery, the uh, western side of the uh, high pressure. All right, and here's Bill. Bill's the impressive-looking one and certainly... Uh, i got a, a fairly interesting cloud pattern there, uh, still struggling just a little bit, uh, intensifying just slowly. And here's the track of Bill, expected to be a little bit north of the track of Anna. Now let's real quick look at the clustering, and here's the clustering of the model, uh, the different models for Anna. And then here's a clustering for Bill, and all of them pretty uh, good agreement. All right, let's get to the GFS, which doesn't do a very good job. And here comes our tropical depression, uh, like I said, soon to be Claudette. And then by tomorrow, uh, it's got it on the uh, coast of Alabama and northwest Florida. Then uh, we look at the 500 millibar pattern for Tuesday, and it's uh, pretty hard to find much in the way of a reflection in the upper atmosphere. This is not going to be a very stout storm at all, uh, but that's certainly going to bring some rain uh, Monday and Tuesday into Alabama. So it looks like our best chances for rain. Wednesday, uh, that uh, gets out of here, and then you can see the reflection of uh, Anna 
in the vicinity of Cuba. By uh, Thursday, uh, once again, it's really tough to find much in the way of uh, upper air reflection of Anna, uh, but we can still see the clouds uh, and the rain over South Florida, and I think that is pretty much Anna. Uh, Anna's going to be another tight storm, kind of like what I think Claudette's going to be. By Friday, we're now seeing the reflection in the upper atmosphere of Bill. Bill's a much stouter storm at the moment. Uh, isn't that interesting? We've got uh, three storms active, and there will probably be two women and one man, and the man's the tough one here, or the one named for a man. Uh, at the uh, surface, you can see that we're going to be under a bit of a um, kind of a showery pattern, and we've got a front approaching as well by Friday, so that could give us some in, uh, enhanced chances for uh, rain. Bill moves up uh, towards Bermuda on Saturday, and the front moves in. And that uh, is certainly going to be nice for us. And the front is expected to move on through. And uh, that will help to guide Bill away from the United States so that by Monday, it looks like Bill's up into the Canadian Maritimes and not affecting uh, the United States at all, other than uh, possibly the, some swells along the At uh, Atlantic seaboard as a result of the storm moving by. And then real quick in the upper atmosphere, uh, out on the 31st of August as we uh, end one of our hotter months, uh, it looks like uh, we've got a little reflection there along the Alabama Florida coastline of what may be some uh, another uh, weak tropical system, and it looks like uh, the ridge is in place over the eastern half of the country. So certainly an interesting, if not challenging, forecast for the next several days. Well, thanks for tuning in. Sorry this one's a little bit long, but all this tropical activity, you know how it is. James should be back tomorrow morning with the next Weather Extreme video, starting the week off with a bang with three systems to deal with, one affecting Alabama. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed.